Hi, I'm Ashford DeMello and I'm a senior in biomedical engineering. Hi, my name is Natalie Arns. I'm a junior in electrical engineering. The scope of our project is to turn on a light on the PSOC board when the microphone detects a sound. There's currently going to be a voltage going into the, the board at our input pin, but when there's a spike in the voltage when the microphone turns on and sets its own analog voltage through, then the logic in the board should turn on the LED. This flowchart represents how the code in the PSOC works. First, it starts by initializing the variables and converting any of the analog inputs from the microphone to a digital signal. Based on previous testing, we set a threshold of 50 millivolts, and so anytime you clap or the microphone hears a frequency of 7000 Hz and above, the LED light will be turned on for precisely 10 seconds. Okay, so here's the hardware for our project. We have the PSAC board here powering the breadboard at the 5 volt bus and then grounding it right here. Um, so then the circuit starts off here where the voltage is being put into the first resistor. This goes into the positive terminal of the microphone. Then uh, in parallel is the capacitor. Right here we have the negative terminal of the microphone grounded. Then the capacitor goes into the first resistor of the preamplifier circuit. We use this because the microphone and the PSAC board together have a very low voltage, so to be able to measure it, we have to amplify it. This first resistor is 100 ohms, and the second one is 10K, giving us a gain of 10. So here in the second terminal of the op amp, we have those two resistors. In the third terminal, we have the op amp grounded. In the fourth terminal, we are inputting the negative VCC to power the op amp. Here in the sixth terminal is our output. We have this going into our designated output pin for our LED here. And then we have the voltage coming from the resistor um, for the amplifier coming back into here as well. Then this is going into the DMM to measure. Here in the seventh terminal of the op amp, we have the positive voltage uh, to power the uh, op amp as well. And then, um, as you can see right here, the LED is off. In our code, we have it so that it will turn on when it is, no, when it sees that the input of the uh, voltage peaks. So here we have the negative VCC set at 6, positive VCC is also set at 6. Here we're currently measuring it to be 32 millivolts at the output. We'll be using this uh, phone app that will output a 7 hertz constant frequency with a set volume. When I turn this on, you can see that the voltage spikes at the output and it turns on the LED.